Hi everyone, I'm Hannah. I'm one of the coaches at Underground Gym in Tunbridge Wells and we're going to go through some breath work and a nice full body flow in our stretch and flow class today. So um, all you'll need is your mat and that is it. So when you are ready to begin, we're going to start on our knees today and we always um, take some time just to slow down the mind and the body before we start our practice. If this is uncomfortable for you, you might have a yoga block, you can pop that between your legs onto your bum, or you can just come down into a seated position on the mat. We're gonna be here for about five minutes, so um, feel free to move at any time if you do feel uncomfortable. So we're gonna take our position, and we're just gonna place our hands on the top of our legs. We're gonna sit nice and tall, and just roll the shoulders back so they start to, the shoulder blades start to fall down the back, relaxing around the neck and the top of the shoulders. And we're just going to gently close off the eyes. Now with our breathing, we're going to keep our breath in and out of our nose. And I'd like you to think about belly breaths. So breathing in through your nose, drawing that breath all the way to the top, staying nice and tall. Feeling that belly and that chest expand. Exhale, let it all go. Feel the body soften, feel the shoulders drop. Breathing in. And out. Three more like this. Breathing in. And out. your breath to come back to its natural rhythm and we're going to start using a technique they call it ocean breathing because it sounds when we uh, do the exhale it sounds like the waves on the shore rushing up and down so we're always going to breathe in through the nose and when we exhale we're actually going to breathe out through the mouth so all you need to do is roll the tongue on top of the on the roof of the mouth so it just sits behind the top teeth and when we exhale, that's going to make the ocean noise. So I'll give you a demonstration. Then we breathe back through the nose. If you're sounding like Darth Vader, that's the right thing. So um, you can have a little practice. But when you do exhale through the mouth, think about pushing that breath all the way down through the body. And you might find that your exhale is slightly longer than um, it would be breathing in and out the nose. So coming back to the position that we began is the hands on the top of the legs, relaxing shoulders, sitting tall, just gently closing off the eyes. So we're gonna take a breath in through the nose all the way through the top, uh, all the way to the top. Tongue on the top of the mouth, open the mouth. Breathing in. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. the end of your 
your exhale. Just allow your breath to come back to normal. Just gently open the eyes, keeping the soft gaze. And we're just gonna rock the weight forward onto our hands and our knees, just freeing up the legs. So you might wanna just wiggle the hips side to side. You might wanna rotate the ankles, just get some movement back in the feet. Even take a little wiggle side to side with the legs. And keeping your knees hip width apart, we're just gonna press back into child's pose. So our legs are quite narrow. We're just gonna relax the head on the mat chest on the thighs and then we're going to start to lift the body keep the hands and knees where they are and we're going to rock forward dropping the hips into an upward dog push back into child's pose so just getting some movement through the spine through the arms as well so try not to over extend the neck in this upward dog keep it looking forward Maybe back. Fingers spread nice and wide. Squeeze those glutes in the upward dog. Just starting to wake up the body a little bit. Before we move into some stronger movements later in the practice. Just working the breath of the movement. So inhale, upward dog. Exhale as you push back. We're gonna do one more. And coming back to child's pose. Just relaxing here again. Hands on the, on the mat. And then what I'd like you to do is, keeping your body where it is, we're just gonna take the hands out to the side. So, staying above the head, as if you are in child's pose, but all we're changing is the width. So we're just gonna take the hands outside of the mat now. Keeping the head on the floor. And just walk those fingers, just let them creep forward a little bit, just to get that stretch on the outer shoulder around the lats. And then we're going to lift up onto our fingertips. So your head may naturally lift off the floor and that's completely fine. Well, we're not wanting to force anything here, but we do want to encourage opening of the shoulders and the upper back, down the sides of the body, particularly around the lats, as I mentioned. Keeping that breath, taking it all the way down to the belly. Allow the shoulders to soften as you exhale. One more breath. And as you exhale, just let the hands come back down onto the floor. And keep your left hand where it is. We're gonna then walk the right hand over to meet it. So our body is staying where it is on the mat, but our hands are Reaching over to the left, trying to keep them straight. So we're opening up the right hand side of the body. Think about gluing that bum down towards the heels of the feet. There's a nice strong stretch there on the right hand side of the rib cage. So we're just gonna breathe into that side of the body. Feel all those muscles expand. We're going to take two more deep breaths here. And now we're going to just gently walk the hands over to the right hand side. So trying to glue bum down to heels. Hands over to the right, so we're opening up the left hand side of the body. Our left side of the rib cage is stretching open. We're breathing deeply into that side. 
feeling the rib cage expand. Two more deep breaths here. Gently walking the hands back to the middle of the mat. We're just going to shift the weight forwards so we can come into a laying position on our front now. We're going to take a little twist in a scorpion stretch. So I'd like you to take your, let's take our right hands out so you can see what I'm doing. Right hand out on the floor, left hand next to the chest. So like this, but I'm doing it on the other side. And I'm going to lift the left leg up and trying to touch the foot on the ground if you can. Spread both hands nice and wide. Relaxing head on the floor. And we're pushing that right arm here into the floor. Taking some belly breaths here. One more breath. Gently lifting that left leg up, coming back onto our front, and then switching sides. So right hand comes next to chest, left hand out to the side. So then we're gonna look to the right, lift the right leg up and over. See if we can get that foot on the floor and keeping those hips open as if you're pushing that right knee away from you. Breathing into the belly. One more breath. Just gently lifting that right leg up, letting it come back over and back onto the front again. So from here, we're gonna gently, gently push up into a downward dog. So best way is just to come onto your hands and your knees. Make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide. We're gonna tuck the toes under, and then we're gonna send the hips back. And we're just gonna walk through here. So pressing one heel down at a time. Your fingers are nice and wide. So think about pressing those knuckle pads on the palm into the mat. Don't worry if your heels can't touch the floor. We're just encouraging them in that direction. So now what I'd like you to do, when you're pressing a heel down, the opposite foot that is almost relaxed, it's not doing any work, we're gonna roll onto the top of that foot. Then we're gonna switch. So nice, slow movement. So just stretching all those muscles, all those joints in the feet. Do a little wiggle in the hips if that feels good. Just warming up the body and then we're going to start our first flow. So we're going to do one more in each foot. Rolling onto the top, trying to encourage the top of that foot, pressing it into the mat. And then coming into downward dog, keeping the arms nice and strong. We're just going to rock gently side to side, just warming up shoulders. Keep those hips up nice and high, chest aiming towards those thighs, let the head hang nice and heavy, and then coming back to a neutral downward dog. So I would like you to inhale as you lift your left leg up into a three-legged dog. We're going to bend that knee, so we're opening the hip. We're going to exhale, swing that leg forward, and plant it down on the mat in between the hands. Dropping that back knee. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms. Squeeze the glutes here, encourage that hip flexor stretch on the right leg. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the mat. Now we're gonna shift the weight forward into that front leg. So we can lift that back leg up, nice and strong, pushing the heel away from us. 
reaching the arms up and away from us, coming into a variation of warrior three. So nice and strong in the legs, nice and stable. Bring the hands back down to frame the front foot and step it back into a downward dog. We're gonna repeat on the other side. So inhale, lift that right leg up, bend that knee. So opening up the hip, squeeze that glute. Exhale, swing that leg forward, drop that back knee, and start to lift the chest. Inhale, lift, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, hands back down. We're gonna lift that back leg, shift the weight forward, and lift the arms up into that variation of warrior three. So nice and strong, as if someone's putting your fingertips away from you. Bring the hands back down to the floor. Step it back into downward dog. And now we're gonna vinyasa our way through. So we're gonna inhale, roll through that spine, coming into high plank, so shoulders over wrists. Exhale, drop to the knees, lower the chest down into a press. Inhale, untuck the toes. Lift the chest into either a cobra or an upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck those toes under, lift up, press back into a downward dog. And go back to walking through the feet. If you want to roll onto the top of the feet again, that's completely fine. And we're going to repeat that flow. But I'm going to give you the full variation of a warrior three this time. So you can either stay like we did in the first flow, or you can take the um, alternatives just to strengthen your practice. So inhale, lifting that left leg up and opening up the hip by bending the knee. Exhale, swing the leg forward into a high lunge this time. So option is to drop the back knee or you're going to keep it up. Inhale, lift the arms, sink into the hips, hands come down. Now, you can either shift the weight forward and stay in that variation that we were in before, or we're going to lift the back leg, flexing the foot. Nice and strong, worry free. Hands come down, bend that front leg, step it back into a downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg, bend that knee, open the hip. Exhale, swing the leg forward and either drop the back knee or keep it up for a high lunge. Lifting the arms on the inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down. Shifting that weight forward, either staying here or flexing that back foot, coming into a full warrior three. Waking up the legs now. Hands come down, bend that front leg. Step it back to downward dog. And then we're gonna vinyasa back. So inhale, roll through the spine. Strong high plank. Exhale, either drop to the knees or lower down into a full body press. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift the chest. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, back into downward dog. And then just dropping the knees, taking them as wide as the mat, untucking the toes, coming down into a child's pose. So allow the body to rest. If it feels good for you, you can either keep your hands on the mat above your head, or you can take them down either side of the body. It gives your shoulders a nice rest. It just allows them to Fall either side of the body down towards the mat. We're just going to take some deep breaths here down into the stomach. Remove any tension out of the fingers.
gently lifting the head. And we're just going to rock back onto our um, all fours again. So our hands are under our shoulders and our knees are under our hips. So we're going to start to wake up the core now. We're going to switch it all on. We're going to work on the flow and start to layer the movements. So it's going to work the shoulders, work the core. It's going to work your stability and your balance. It's going to be a great all all over body uh, movements. So hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. We're gonna tuck the toes under and we're gonna come into a crouch pose. So all we do is we lift the knees off the floor and we hold. So we've got a nice flat back. We're drawing the belly up towards the spine. Our shins are parallel to the floor. We're gonna hold here, shoulders are over wrists. If you're starting to feel some shakes, that's normal. Just embrace it, we're building the core strength. We're gonna take a little flow. So we're gonna add layer one of our movement. So we're gonna lift the left hand and the right leg, and right leg is gonna come in front of the um, left one, okay? So my glute is off the floor, and then we're gonna bring it back and to the other side. So your shoulders are stabilizing here. Pull that arm back, bend the elbow slowly move back to crouch pose that's always your pose to come back to pull back and back to crouch inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale one more on each side inhale exhale let's go again and back to crouch. Have a little rest if you need to. Give the wrist a little shake. So that was movement one. Movement two, from crouch, all we're gonna do is we're gonna press back so our arms become straight. And then we go back. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep a nice flat back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We've got one more. And exhale. Come back to crouch. Drop the knees. Give the wrists a little shake. Now we're going to combine the two movements, okay? I will show you. We're going to do one kick set. One. Other side. Two. And then we're going to press back into three and that is one repetition so we can do five in total we're going to move i'll move slowly so you can break down the movement if you find it difficult um, but find your flow use your breath inhale exhale inhale exhale work your body with your breath so coming back to crouch tucking the toes under legs come up let's go inhale exhale inhale exhale push back inhale exhale come forward that's one twist twist push back and strong that's two you can do it guys slow it down if you need to push back two more Really push back. One more. Push back. Now you're down in the press. I want you to look to the top of the mat and add a little hop and come down into a seated position. Take the feet nice and wide. And we're just going to let the knee fall in side to side when I say nice and wide as wide as the mat so let the knees fall side to side catch the breath that's a real test of your 
stability in your shoulders that flow really good to increase the mobility as well obviously your core strength couple more lovely okay so we're going to keep the feet as wide as the mat and if you can i'd like to just come up into a low squat if you don't find that's so easy just move into this position so our toes are turned out to the side and our arms are inside our legs okay they're not on the outside they're on the inside and the reason for that is when we put our hands into a prayer position and squeeze them together we can use that to encourage the legs open more and also lift our chest so we've got a nice flat back so just taking a hindi squat you can gently move side to side if you find that quite nice if this is particularly difficult you've got tight hips you can just come into a sumo squat where you lift the legs it's moving side to side ideally we want to encourage um, sitting down and, and increasing that hip flexibility so i'd like to take your hands onto the floor hands are flat and we're going to take a little variation where we move into a forward fold so we're going to drop the head bend the elbows and start to lift the bum so we're looking through the legs keeping our hands on the floor straightening the legs and then we're going to push the knees out start to drop the bum and reverse that movement lifting the chest and looking forwards drop the head and then the hips lift. And then coming back down. So if we can sink a little bit deeper each time into the hips, especially if you feel quite tight in this position. We want those feet to be flat on the floor. If you find that your heels lift, you can either try taking your feet a little bit wider or you can put something underneath the heels of your feet, like a rolled up towel, not with too much depth, just something so that your feet are comfortable with supporting them. When we're at the top, straight legs, draw that core in, nice strong forward fold. Before we come back down into that squat, we're gonna take one more. and back down, stay down, placing the hands back together, just encouraging the legs out. And we're gonna move, move into the nice, relaxing part at the end. So you're feeling all relaxed at the end of the week, ready to move into the weekend, enjoy that lovely weather. So from this position, taking the hands behind, so we can gently lower the bum, take the legs out in front, give them a little shake. And then placing the feet on the floor. One last little core strengthening exercise. We're gonna slowly unroll down to the mat into our laying position. But I want you to un uncurl that spine. So let the bottom of the spine fall down first. Take your hands either side of the body. We're gonna tuck that chin in. And think about the vertebrae one by one going down to the mat. All the way to the top of the spine and you can just relax here. So you can either keep your knees bent, um, you can take them out onto the mat so they're straight or you can let the bottoms of your feet touch and let your knees fall out to the side if you wanted to increase the hip stretch. I'm going to keep my knees bent. Take your arms out to the side of the body so there is some space between your body and your hands and your arms. Palms facing upwards. Gently closing off the eyes if you haven't already. So we're going to tap back into that breath. Inhaling through the nose, all the way down to the stomach. 
and exhaling, letting the body soften into the mat beneath us. starting from the head. So just with your mind, scanning from the top of your head, down the forehead, down to the eyes, so we're softening around the eyebrow area, and around the temples. softening the eyelids and just allowing the eyes just to just fully relax in the sockets. So no movement there. Relaxing the mouth and the jaw. So just wiggling the jaw side to side really gently. Just releasing any tension you might be holding there. Just allow your tongue to relax in your mouth. Shoulder blades falling either side of the spine. You might want to have a little bend in the elbows just to encourage the upper arms and the shoulders to fall to the floor. Scanning down to the hands and the fingers, just softening the fingertips, we're not clenching them. shoulders, starting to move down the chest. Just noticing the breath fill the chest. the air back out again. And just scanning down to the hip area and the lower back. You may want to adjust your feet position if your lower back could be flatter on the floor. You may want your legs to slightly fall out to the side with a little bend in the knee. Make sure your hips are happy. Just scanning down the thighs, releasing any tension around the knees. Down the calves. All the way down to the toes, so softening the toes. Feet may want to fall out to the side. And just taking advantage of this peaceful, peaceful moment where our body is completely switched off, it's softened, it's melting into the floor. Just going to bring some 
the movement back into the body just before we finish. If you did want to switch off and stay here a little bit longer, please feel free to. Otherwise, we're just going to gently wiggle fingers and toes, circling wrists and ankles. You can choose to keep the eyes closed or you can start to gently open them. Keep a nice soft gaze. And just making yourself, uh, making your way up, sorry, to a seated position in whichever way you feel comfortable. And just take a moment just to sit on your mat and come back into your surroundings. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I will be running the next Stretch and Flow class on Tuesday morning at quarter past six. So I hope to see you then. If not, I will see you on Friday. Have a lovely weekend.